Hello, this is Kaylen Huntress, and today I'm going to be reviewing the homepage of rachelfarber.com. Uh, Rachel is an acupuncturist and uh, a teacher that uh, teaches at the college level. She's a really well-qualified um, healer, and she's got a lot of different things that she offers here on this website, and I'm going to go through the four things that I like about this homepage and the four things that I would improve. Uh, the first thing that I like is the soothing colors and photos. I think this is a really good color palette. Uh, it does a really good job of fading uh, the background elements into the background, but uh, still highlighting uh, the things that it wants you to look at. And it's just, it's really well designed. There's some really great colors here that um, that make this a very visually pleasing website. So that's the first thing that I like is the, is the colors and the soothing photos. The second thing that I like is the copywriting. I, this website gets an A plus for copywriting, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I like the definition of nourish up here. Uh, I like the uh, the welcome home to your body. I mean, like this is exactly what you wanna you wanna hear from your healer. Uh, calls to action are great. Are you ready to reclaim your vitality? Um, it gets into you know the specifics of the the different modalities that she uses, and uh, and I think that the copywriting on this on this page is, is top notch for a service provider. So that's the second thing that I like. The third thing that I like are all these hover effects. You know, when I hover my mouse over the over a photo, I get the icon and the photo to zoom in just a little bit. And uh, and down here, I don't know if you can see it, um, but these uh, dotted lines they they spin during the hover and only during the hover. And I, I think this is a really nice touch. It's tiny things like that that I think really make a design stand out. So that's the third thing that I like are the hover effects. Uh, the fourth thing that I like is the revolution slider. Uh, normally, I'm not a big fan of sliders on the homepage, but this one loads really fast. Uh, I even ran a site speed test on this through gtmetrics.com to see how fast is this homepage loading, and, uh, and it clocked in at 3.3 seconds with a slider above the fold. And I, I like Revolution Slider in terms of its effects. You know, it does some really nice um, transitions and it's got a whole lot of different things that it can do um, instead of just being, you know, an image with text um, designed into it. You know, the, the options that it gives you, not just for the transitions, but also for how you move the text in. I've always liked Revolution Slider for that. Um, and it's not often that I see it used uh, so well, but it's been, it's been used very well on this website. So that's the fourth thing that I like. Is, uh, is the revolution slider up here on the top. Um, the, the first thing I would improve though is right above this slider and it's the header. Um, the header I think is, is, is very problematic. You know, if, if you're looking at the drop down menu, you're, you're covering the slider, but if you come down just a hair, the entire logo has gone. And so it, it's easy to forget what website you're on because the sticky header has no logo on it. The drop down menu is behind um, the slider and, and it shows up in front of some elements and behind others. I think there's a lot of Z and indexes being used and, uh, and it makes, you know, I, I would just take out the sticky header. You know, that would be the, my quick and easy solution here because, you know, for, uh, for usability, I, it's, it's hard to see it kind of peeking beneath the elements and, and the text overlapping like this. Uh, I, I think that this is, um, uh, this has enough glitches to it that you could spend time getting the sticky header to perform you the way you want it to, or you could just remove the sticky header altogether so that there's this header and nav bar. And if you scroll any further down, then it's all gone. You have to go all the way up to the top to see the nav bar again. So that's the first thing I would improve is I would just take out the sticky nav bar altogether. Uh, the second thing I would improve is down here at the bottom. Uh, you know, it's it's great to have the contact info, um, but I think that uh, that some SEO footer links would be really useful here. Um, with a with a comprehensive SEO um, analysis of the website, we could figure out what keywords do we want this site to rank for, and then select specific pages that we want to rank for specific terms: Santa Cruz acupuncture, Santa Cruz healing, things like that, um, California acupuncturist, uh, and and have those um, hypertext links in the footer uh, in a list that link to those pages that are trying to rank for those keyword sets. And just having a, a, a brief little list of those here along with the, the, the social media icons, I know we have them up here at the top, but having some more social media here with some SEO footer links, I, I would just do a, a footer overhaul right here. That's, that's the second thing I would improve. And the third thing I would improve is this tree photo. 
um, I, I would take it out because I like the testimonials here. It's great to have um, a wide variety of testimonials, but they all have the same tree. So I would either replace the tree with individual headshots for each of these uh, these clients uh, that have given testimonials, which I think would be the best solution. But if there's not um, an easily readily <clears throat> readily available uh, uh, list of headshot photos to use, then I would just take out the tree. I, I would move these slider buttons um, up higher and take out this whole tree section because I think the multiple trees, you know, we're making a cherry blossom forest here, but this is about testimonials and not about the trees. So that's the third thing that I would improve. Um, and the fourth thing that I would improve is I would would rewrite this call to action. I would make the, the newsletter opt-in embedded so that you could actually click on the field and subscribe right here because as it is right now, I hit this subscribe button, I open in a new tab and this is totally not customized and, and it's, it's just ugly, you know, compared to the, the great design and color palette we have on the website, this, it, it's just, it, there's no brand cohesion here. And so I, I think that's really clunky and I, I would have rather than just, you know, sign up for my newsletter, which, you know, for the type of business that Rachel has, you know, that, that's a sufficient call to action. But I know that she's got this great 21 day program and I've heard great things about it through word of mouth and I think that a call to action like that join this 21 day program to increase increase your healthy habits uh, then it would build her newsletter list not just with people in the Santa Cruz area but worldwide and so that's the fourth thing that I would improve is I would redo this uh, this email newsletter call to action overall I think this is a beautiful site just needs a few tweaks and uh, and I think it would be in really good shape so that's what I think about the homepage of rachelfarber.com if you'd like your own homepage reviewed there's a link in the description below. See you later.